Welcome back to Loose Tube. Today you'll learn how to assemble our local lock M1 swaging machine. Your M1 swaging machine comes neatly packaged in a metal toolbox along with an operator's manual and two Allen wrenches for adjustment. Refer often to your operator's manual. The manual contains instructions and images that will assist you through every step of setup and use. You will also find guidance for troubleshooting the machine, instructions for maintenance, and other helpful tips. Begin by removing your machine from the toolbox and lay it lengthwise on your workspace. Now prepare your set of dies. First, identify whether you are swaging straight shank fittings or ball ends and select the proper die type. The die sets for straight shank fittings are circular with a groove along the edge that will hold the fitting. Dies for ball type ends are square shaped with grooves in each corner. The corners are labeled one through four to assist in the swaging process. Now, Choose the proper sized dies for the cable diameter you will be swaging. Each box of dies contains an upper and lower die, which are clearly marked. Place the upper and lower dies onto the machine. There is a key notch to ensure that the dies will be properly installed. Now, secure the dies with the included flat washer and cap screws, but do not over tighten. Simply turn by hand until the fit is snug. This will allow for the dies to move slightly if necessary and align properly with the fitting. Refer to your manual to select the correct feed guide and adapter for the terminal you will be swaging. If you are swaging ball ends, remove this adapter altogether. Place the feed guide onto the machine and use the included Allen wrench to secure it. Be sure not to fully tighten one side before the other. Alternate between them to ensure proper alignment. Your Localock M1 swaging machine is now ready to use. Click one of the clips below for the next step in the swaging process. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updated content.